racers row at Lakeside at the pits here on Tuesday night. We're going to have Lucas Oil Lake Models and a U.S. MTS Modifies here on the Clash of the Titans. Looks like anybody that's anybody in Lake Models. So Rodney Sanders out of Happy, Texas, your current point leader in the Major League Bowhunter Central Region, will set the pace of this field with Darren Fuquay, the big time bail bonds, car number 87. As we bring him on the track, Jordan Grabowski, Nick Benninger looked very strong in his heat race. He will fire up fourth, as will Mark Schaffman, the 34, and Big Daddy Joe Duvall, Trevor Hunt. Can he find victory lane? Here tonight, the 99H car, the Advanced Auto Parts out of Kearney, Missouri, the GRT chassis starting seventh in Dylan Smith in that Jet Mod, Bill Steen, Mike Smith trucking, freezing Chevrolet, car number 95. 36 cars started, 25 have earned their way into our A main hit tonight, and they'll all chase that front row, Rodney Sanders out of Happy, Texas your 2013 national champion in a Swan Energy, Wichita Tank Racing, Kinrad Transport, Hope and Healing, Get Us Powered, MB Custom, and none better at the controls hit it on. And when you put him on the point, you are going to earn your paycheck to run him down in that 20 machine. But Jordan Grabowski has looked very strong throughout the season in Terry Phillips' backup ride, the 75G as well as Darren Fuquay, a weekly competitor, hit it on in con number 87. So where's your favorite driver sitting here tonight? Where will he end up? The possible victory lane here at Luke at uh, again Lakeside Speedway as Rodney Sanders out of Happy, Texas, the MB Custom reigning national champion again, Major League Bowhunter Central Region points leader will set the pace of this field. Caution light is out. 35 laps of distance as the field rolls into turn three. And ladies and gentlemen, your A main feature event for the Casey's General Store coming off of turn four. Green flag is out and we're racing. Sanders will jump on a lead as they're three wide for third, fourth, and fifth. Down the back straightaway. Sanders into turn three. Darren Fuquay, the number two spot in the 87 as we work lap one. Mark Schaffman, the 34 car, the number three spot. And here comes Nick Bittinger in the 3B. Trevor Hunt, the 99H, started back in seventh and right now sits in fifth. wide action here at Lakeside Speedway and a beautiful surface on a Tuesday night special as a leader breaking away the battle for second Fuquay, Schaffman, Bittinger, Hunt and Jordan Grabowski now the 75 G trying to keep pace with Rodney Sanders last time a 19 3 7 6 to lead Three weekly competitors going for second, third, and fourth. Schaffman in the 34, Fuquay in the 87. Here comes Bittiger in car three. Stormy Scott now beginning to pull himself forward. 
Stormy started 12th on the field and now sits in a number six position in a Brian Roland Racing car 2S LG2 Pro Power moving forward. But Rodney Sanders has got him by a straightaway or more now as he works back his way into turn three. Sanders right past the start stand. Mark Schaffman now in the number two spot. Fuquay will give up second, remain in third. Fourth place of Nick Benninger. Trevor Hunt has now went up top in that GRT Advance Auto Zone 99H. And Stormy Scott begin to now knock on his fuel cell in a 2S Integra Shock Package rolling racing machine. And this might be the only thing that can stop him. Lap traffic dead ahead for Rodney Sanders as he works back into turn number one. Fuquay to the infield. Fuquay is in as we work lap number 10. Schaffman, Bittinger, now Hunt to fourth, and Stormy Scott, your top five. Your leader now coming up on Tim Carrick. In turn number two, down the back straightaway is Sanders in 20. Mark Schaffman sits in second in the 34. Nick Bittinger in third. Trevor Hunt four. Stormy Scott fifth. Sixth place is Terry Phillips. Seventh is Austin Siebert, Jordan Grabowski in eighth. Joe Duvall in ninth and Kelly Shryock rounding out your top ten. Sanders and now takes the inside line off a of turn two. Runs alongside the McCarthy Auto Group, Tim Carrick in car 1K. Mark Schaffman just now coming off a of turn four and let's call a straightaway advantage for Sanders. Austin Siebert. Car 16 started 14th on the field at Siebert and right now sits in seventh in car 16, the Kenny's tile out of Grandview, Missouri. <laughs> Kelly Shryack now coming up on Big Daddy Joe Duvall in the HSPC VP Raceville car number three. Right behind him is Vanderbeek, the 33, as Carrick pulls to the infield. Tim Carrick is in, and we say green flag racing. Sanders now alongside of Dan Hilsebeck. Flying through this field here tonight. Rodney Sanders out of Happy, Texas. And he's looking to have the same results in that late model, but right now in his MB Custom, he has got it turned up. As the back end of turn number one, your leader. So the caution flag out for the first time here tonight in our A main feature on lap 17 just at the halfway mark. And that lead is now gone for Rodney Sanders. So looking at your top 10, you'll find Sanders on top 
in car number 20. Mark Schaffman in second. Nick Bittinger sits in third. Trevor Hunt now in fourth in the 99H. Stormy Scott in a 2S car is in the fifth. Sixth place is Terry Phillips in the 75. Austin Siebert in the 16. Jordan Grabowski, the 75G. Kelly Shryock has come from way deep, started 16th in car number three and now sits in ninth. And Zach Vanderbeek here tonight. You started 13, sits in 10th on a lap number 18. 18 down, 17 laps remain in tonight's A main feature for the Casey General Store, powered by Swan Energy, to find our Sebasma Graphics VP Race Fuels pole sitter is Rodney Sanders, and he would like nothing more to find the VP Victory Lane here tonight. And that MB Custom get us powered. Leading hit tonight, Mark Schaffman will have his choice inside outside line and he will take it down to the inside. Schaffman who started fifth out of Edwardsville, Kansas and the Bills built 34. And a big tip of the hat to these weekly competitors running very strong hit tonight at Lakeside Speedway. And we are just at the halfway mark. And Sanders, next time by, will bring this field to the green flag. Here we go, 20 to race to start, everyone. Patient behind him. Patient. Trevor Hunt started seventh. He now sits in fourth. The 99H car out of Kearney, Missouri. In the auto zone machine. Green flag is back out on the speedway. Here we go. Right now, it's time to get the elbows up and out and get with it. And Terry Phillips does just that. Comes up to number four spot. Brings along teammate Jordan Grabowski in the 75G. Tire rolling down to the infield. And it will stay there and will stay green flag. Sanders, Schaffman, run one, two. Bettinger in third, Phillips in fourth, Trevor Hunt in fifth. Johnny Scott, the 1ST car, sits up in turn four. You can see that right front tire damage. And getting into contact somewhere in the 1ST and warrants our next caution flag here on lap number 20. Sanders continues on the point. Schaffman, Bittinger, Phillips now into four. Trevor Hunt in fifth. Zach Vanderbeek comes up to six. Jordan Grabowski, seventh. Austin Siebert, eighth. Shrock remains ninth, and Joe Duvall now in car number 91 sits in 10th. So Rodney Sanders will bring the FK Rod Ends, 87 Automotive, Crone Farms, the Aleron Energy, Larry's Carburetors, All-Star Customs. Back around next time to the green flag, the 24-year-old hot shoe, your reigning national champion in a Casey's General Store powered by Swan Energy event for 2013 and looking to possibly repeat as we work our way towards the chase for the championship for the cup for the Casey's General Store as Sanders now with a caution light off. 20 down, 15 to go. Can Schaffman, Bittiger, Trevor Hunt, or Terry Phillips find a way to the front. We're going to see as we're back underway. High road, a low road, where you want to be. Jordan Grabowski says, I like it here. Alongside a car owner, Terry Phillips. And we'll see how this pans off a of turn four. Sanders, Schaffman, Bittinger. Then it's three wide. Vanderbeek getting in the mix. 
Here comes the Z-Man out of New Sharon, Iowa. Vanderbeek, who started 13th, trying to crack his way into that top five. Tryock now battles with Trevor Hunt. Kelly Tryock and the SSPC sponsored VP Raysfield out of Fertile, Iowa, getting up and with it, as is right now the Kenny's Tile 16 of Austin Siebert. Siebert, who started way back, is going to loop it off at turn two. Caution flag is out. Siebert sits high up in turn two, but everybody dodges the bullet. The 16 car look to be flying here tonight up to seventh and loops it. And unfortunately, Mark Schaffman now, the 34 car, in the number three spot, but he looks to have issues here tonight as well on lap 23. So the 34 car, unfortunately, Mark Schaffman started fifth on a field at Edwardsville, Kansas. What a solid run for these weekly competitors to run with these Touring Series drivers, second and third. I'm buying them all a $5 cigar if they're old enough. That is just plain spot on, but I'm waiting to see what the G-Man does, Grabowski with team owner Terry Phillips. Not one to take kindly to get leaned on, and I think he might have just got his last Andy's frozen custard. We shall see. Ha <laughs> ha, I like it. 12 Save laps it. remain. And as you've seen, unfortunately, for Mark Schaffman, a lot of things can go amiss on these cars. And right now, Sanders has been the class of the field from the drop of the green. And I don't think he spit a tear off unless he did it through lap traffic. Right now, bringing away into turn three. Sanders now hits his mark, fires the field, back to the green flag. Phillips now rim riding the 75 car, the Don Babb Motorsport 75 machine up on the wheels. And here he comes, TP Terry Phillips on a Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> Action here tonight. How bad do you want it? The old Wiley veteran against one of the young hot shoes, and he's got him. Sanders says, get out of my house. Sanders now lights it up the MB Custom back on the inside. Says, come on, you want to play? Bring it to my house. Sanders back in the lead. Two of the best in open wheel modified action. Showing a preliminary. And wait till the boys get in the late models. They want the money right now for the modifieds. As off a of turn four, Sanders by three car lengths. Sanders, Phillips, Bettinger. Vanderbeek to fourth. Trevor Hunt battles with Grabowski for fifth. And we wondered if Phillips showed his hand, and this is the shot I had. And Sanders said, that ain't enough. You can tell Terry Phillips has been after him and been after him, and we are back under caution. Car sits between turns three and four, and oh boy. How bad do you want it now, kids? I think this will be the honor system again. Stand on her, lean on her, and don't worry about nothing. Checkers or wreckers. They saw slide by side, slide job, slide job, back and forth. As we do want to mention now, they can go to the speed shop down below the concession stand area. 50-50, ticket holder. Off of turn four, Sanders, green flag. 28 down. Nick Bittinger says, hey, Terry Phillips, your car's junk. You're used up. Look at him go. 
Now can he reel in Sanders? Nick Benninger, has he got something in car three? Down to the bottom groove he comes. Phillips, Vanderbeek back and forth. Trevor Hunt in fifth, and he's there. Benninger is going to be a player. Started fourth out of Lawrence, Kansas, the Pennington seed. Can he make it stick off a of turn four? Rodney Sanders continues a diamond off a of turn number two. You look at the line Sanders takes. He's got about an extra 40 feet of straightaway when he comes off a of turn two. He will come off of that corner high and just blast. Back into turn one, right about there. Now crank it down and look it. Boom! Just like he shot out of a cannon. You talk about forward bite. Yeah, I'd say he's got it. Forward bite, back bite, over bite. It's all there. Sanders, Bettinger. The laps continue to click off. We're on lap 32. Vanderbeek sits in fourth, Hunt fifth. As Rodney Sanders out of Happy Texas will put one win in the books if he can keep it together here tonight. And then climb in his late model and give that a shot. But looking to add on to that Major League Bow Hunter Central Region's points battle, looking to put more points in the distance. White flag, we've got one to go. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. Look at Phillips, back up after it. Bittinger says, where did he come from? It's the custard. Phillips on the outside. Bittinger falls back into third. As coming to the line, your winner at Lakeside Speedway, it is a rocket, Rodney Sanders. Phillips will finish second. Bettinger third, Vanderbeek fourth, and Trevor Hunt rounding out your top five. Well, to say a very entertaining, modified A-Main indeed, as Rodney Sanders will park it out back and jump out. Hop in his late mile and said, if I could only do this, the double duty here tonight. I don't know what he could do for the trifecta unless he bought a 50-50 ticket. But yellow ticket number 0546395, you are a winner in case you didn't hear that. As congratulations are top five here tonight. The winner of the USMTS race here at Lakeside Speedway tonight, Rodney Sanders. Rodney, you had a bullet out there, buddy, it looked like. Yeah, the car was good all night. I mean, yeah, this Gettys Powered MB Custom has been really good lately. And... No, it's uh, definitely a lot of fun when the car is working good, and uh, you know, track position definitely helped, but uh, you know, I think we had a good car regardless. Were you a little surprised? I mean, of course, with this series, uh, you can't be surprised with anybody jumping up on you there, but Terry Phillips got up beside you there, I think, once, and uh, you know, you guys had a heck of a race there for a couple of laps, and then all of a sudden it was, whoop, 20's gone. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of watching the board down the back straight away, and I saw him kind of, you know, creeping toward the front, and he... He's, uh, he's always a good runner and runs good all the time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, anytime he's, you know, in, you know, up beside you, you know, you better pick up the yeah. pace. And, uh, yeah, we're just trying. We're kind of just riding around there. And, you know, I saw him. I thought, well, if I'm going to have anything left, we better try it. So, yeah, uh, yeah the car was good. And there was a little, you know, we had you know, a little bit left in the tank. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely a good night. Yeah. Uh, when he did get up beside you, did you there for a little bit, kind of come down a little bit lower on the track to, I don't want to say cut him off, but kind of take his line away? Well, yeah, I, I just didn't. I, I mean, he kind of slid me there and uh, three and four, and I was just trying to run in there with some speed kind of on the bottom just to make sure I didn't leave, you know, the top open where he had room to slide me. And I knew, uh -huh. you know, once we kind of got rolling, I felt like I, you know, could diamond one and two really good. And, oh, boy, and, and it was, you know, had good traction off to, off to, off of two. And, uh, yeah, I knew I just didn't want to leave the door open because I knew, I mean, if there's anything there, he's going to, yeah, you know, boy. take it. He's a, you know, he's a, he's a good racer and, you know, won a lot of races. So, uh. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, you got to be on your toes for sure. Yeah. Once again, wins the USMTS uh, modified race here tonight. About 10th, I think you say, in the late models. But uh, so. yep. still a good run for these guys. Yeah, for sure. We haven't ran it a whole lot, and we're, you know, really happy with that. We're going to just try to build on it and see how we can do it at I-80. All right. Have some fun, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Second place finisher for both USMTS and Lucas Oil late models, Terry Phillips. Terry, uh, 
Got to be a uh, fun night for you. Yeah, it's fun. Wore me out, but uh, the track was pretty demanding night. But uh, we was trying some stuff with our modified. We haven't run, got to run modified as much this year, but uh, trying some stuff we do on our late miles didn't work so good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but uh, it was a little hard to drive. But late mile, real happy with it. I mean, we're just striving for. Got a new new engine in it, and it, it run real well. And figuring the cars out to run with these guys. So uh, I always like to come to Lakeside, run good here, and. Yeah, this track's always interesting. It's it's always good. It seems like uh, whether it's hammered down, it gets you know wide. They had it good tonight. It had had some issues, but they give it character. So you can race all over. So it's really actually a real good race track. So uh, just just glad we got to come up here and take part of it. They kept saying through the race that you were having the fastest lap times, but you know just not enough to, to catch up with the guy up in front we had such a big lead because i think it was almost a straightaway at times yeah i did i couldn't even see him uh uh you know I, I guess i need to qualify better you know i just <laughs> we had a carburetor issue in qualifying so i didn't get qualified that good and and anyway it's just where it goes but uh jimmy's running real good right now i mean he is really going good so i mean just to be in them lap times is pretty good for, for me so uh uh, you never know if we had a caution, but, uh, you know, running with him, past him, is two different things. So, got a lot of respect for that guy and, and, and just glad we're running as fast as him on lap time. So, uh, anyway, uh, this Rocket car is just, they've been good for me all year. One one more races this year than I have in a while and, and um, kind of hit and miss on some places. They're new, you know, this car's new to me. Um, when I go to new places because, uh -huh. you know, it That's seems like I've been over. in them a while, but I haven't. I just this year, so every new place is a new adventure for me, so to speak. But uh, Got to rewrite the book. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so we're kind of getting the hang of things in different track conditions. So, uh, uh, you know, for long, maybe we'll get some wins going. Not to elongate the conversation any, but you had a pretty good race with one of our local boys here, Benninger, the three in the Modifieds. Uh, got ahead of him finally for second, but uh, you guys put on a pretty good show too in, in the Modifieds. Yeah, he's good. I know he's good in the heat race, so I don't I don't know who that fella is, but talked to him afterwards. Nice guy. Uh, uh, yeah, he had a good race car, and, and uh, you know, he's he can hang his head high because that's a pretty good race in the yeah. company he's keeping there. So, I mean, Rodney Sanders is a good Modified racer, so um, yeah, that was a good job by him, and, and you know, uh, uh, we sell the modifieds, and, and, and so I've got to try some things every once in a while instead of just get stagnant, but we seem to go back to our basic stuff and be pretty good, and I should have done that tonight, but that's all right. Uh, at least we know and, and uh, learn some stuff, and we'll go on to the next one. Once again, the second place finisher for both U.S. MTS Modified and the Lucas Oil Late Models, Terry Phillips. Way to go, Third Terry. place Thank finisher you. for the U.S. MTS racer at Lakeside Speedway tonight for the crash of the Titans. And it's a local guy, which couldn't make it, us any more prouder from around here. But Nick Benninger, Nick, uh, you finished third in this deal, man. you got to be proud of that. Yeah, it was a good run, man. The track the track was real slick in one and two and uh, kind of started coming apart in three and four. And, kind of fell right into my lap you know that's kind of something we're we're used to down here so uh, uh we made the best of it you were up front all the time i think uh, what was it phillips finally got around you there in the closing stages but uh still the car was really looking good and, and hooked up on this track pretty good yeah it was good terry got around us early and then on a restart we got back around him and run second for a long time and really thought i had it wrapped up and Man, if you put a hole in the middle of the racetrack, I'll hit it every time. So I hit it the last two laps in a row and uh, picked up the front end on the car and he got back around me. So, uh, but can't be disappointed with the run against these guys. So we were talking earlier and I think we should, we should talk a little bit about this, about just how hard Sanders could come off that corner. And you were saying that you thought maybe you had something for him there late and then all of a sudden it was boom, he got. Yeah. Yeah. I, we made a few laps after I got around Phillips there on that restart and I thought, man, I think I got something for him. I really got to get in it and run it as hard as I can. And right when I thought that, he just yarded me up off of two and I said, well, never mind on that. I better just better just bide my time and hopefully hold on to second here. So, no, it it's amazing how those guys get, them, get the cars to rotate and come out of the corner. I was going to say, you got side bite and forward bite at the same time and I didn't know. That's pretty hard to do, but yeah. I, I guess they know how to do it. And they get it figured out. They race a whole lot more than us, so they can try everything. But uh, no, for the for the old girl, uh, the old side biter chassis, it's a couple year old car. We can't beat it. And I uh, got to thank Burlington a, a ton for for uh, putting a power plant in this this car for this race. So good combination, Kansas City stuff here. Nick Benninger, Burlington Motors, side biter for what the Iowa, I think, aren't they? <laughs> The side biter, yeah, Reuters out of Kanawha, Iowa, and then uh, Burlington's here in Kansas City. So, 
But anyway, once again, third place finisher here for the U.S. MTS Clash of the Titans, hometowner almost. <laughs> Nick Vinegar, way to go, Nick. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Uh,